This is a strong message from Pastor Kumuyi to the Igbos. Well, we can't continue the same way after civil war. Civil war, which people? Is it the Igbos fault or whose fault or the government's fault? Pastor Kumuyi, the general overseer of deeper Christian life ministry has appealed to Nigerians to make sacrifices for one another and become change agents for the development of the nation. Kumi made this appeal during a global men's conference organized by the Change Makers International in Port Harcourt on Saturday, August 17th. He said, when there is no time of when there is no time of reflecting and refreshing in the lives of men, there will be no change. He added, if we continue the same way since the civil war to democratic laws and nobody reflects on change, where are we going to be as a country by 2030? We need rethinking and refreshing to have rest, peace and unity in our families and country. We will come up with solutions that will refine our change our country for good. According to Malachi 3.3, Kumiyi said, the cleric urged Nigerians and their leaders ensure the focus on helping one another, especially the downtrodden. He said we should have the heart to help others, build hospitals to save lives, help train underprivileged children in schools or skills, and not have a story heart that does not even feel and help our neighbors. Uh, is this man trying to talk uh, to the this thing to the the government because uh, most of his talk has always been on the masses on how the masses can do better how they can change their mindset that you cannot expect uh, the the country to change without you changing your mindset but uh, that is not his but uh, in this place he's trying to now say that uh, nigerians and their leaders okay he called their leaders to make sure that uh, they focus on helping one another especially the downtrodden we should have the heart to help others build hospitals and others. No, to build hospitals, that is the responsibility of the government. And the responsibility of the masses is to make sure that uh, what is being built is well kept. What is being built is well kept and to be law abiding. And the leaders also should not be above the law. That is it. When did you think that the war should take place as you are already? As you are already, you are sending a message to Nigerian leaders. Story for the girls. Your tribal men are telling others to leave Lagos and you have said nothing. Which storyline are you giving now? When you left the reality, when you left the, um, the main issue and begin to chase shadow. Then hearts of Nigeria leaders are hardened like king of pharaohs of Egypt. But later die a mysterious death. That will be that will be the case of our leaders in the country. Gaiman Pastor have spoken. Hmm, at the level. business continues. Baba is sending message from abroad. Is he really in abroad? I don't understand because I think there was a time uh, that was debunked, but I don't think it was properly debunked that whether he really jackpot to abroad. The message is not from the UK, it is from the ports porter courts. Okay. Somebody say, I say, shut up and go and keep deceiving the people you have been deceiving. I don't even want to hear any pastor talk here. As long as you guys do not talk during the protest, just uh, keep mute. Like, lie. Then this is your opinion. Well, they are in the level of few. They are in the level. In the level must you confess truth because Almighty is out to open their nakedness. Only on serious we believe them. This time, whenever a man of God starts eating with the king of earth, his salmon will change. Elijah and many other prophets never eat with kings of earth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Somebody say, you have to read the Bible before you judge. Then it is very, very easy. Then it is very, very easy for you people to talk down the minister of God because be careful before you incur the anger of God upon your life. Jesus Christ went and is with. One thing, the wrath the of God, the wrath of God. Ah. So, when people, people challenge God, people say, God, no, this thing is not this. And because of that, God has not even killed anybody. Not to talk of when you call 
or call out say a man of god uh, it is you know it's like people need to be afraid of these men of god and even god himself the way some people portray this whole thing well everybody must be respected both those ones at those uh, the the downtrodden everybody must be respected everybody must be respected whether you're a pastor whether you're an usher whether you're a desma whether you are you believe god you don't believe god in as much as uh, blood flows in your on your body and even don't forget some people even respect animals so don't talk of a human being so respect they say is a reciprocal so everybody needs to be careful everybody needs to be careful that is it and everybody's feelings must be respected that is just the way it ought to go so just like i said um they really need to call out this uh this uh what do they call them all these uh politicians and that is the why you see that uh, it seems as if those some people do not even respect pastors because they don't speak truth but when it comes to the masses oh my goodness they have one thousand and one things to tell them but when it comes to the politicians they are so diplomatic and try to be politically correct so guys let's say your opinion and have your take on this